Hey y'all, it's Mary. Welcome back to my channel, Mama Bear Prepper. So this morning, me and my daughter, we went to church, had some church things to do. And then we went to Walmart and a local Spanish grocery store to see what a Spanish grocery store has. And, you know, just to look around and browse. So I'll show you guys what's in that bag in a little bit. But for the most part, this is just like a normal grocery haul, you know, for our weekly groceries. And also just a few prepper items in there that I'll show you as I get to it. All right. The first thing I want to show you guys is this thermometer. My brother just bought this over for me. Um... He has one just like it last week. Well, in the beginning of this week and towards the end of last weekend, my daughter was sick with the flu and it was just really hard to keep her temperature down and she was running 106 degree fever, you know, so I had to rush her to the emergency room. Um, they gave her some ibuprofen, you know, I mean, I gave her some Tylenol, but they gave her ibuprofen there and um, pretty much sent us on our way. <laughs> but I brought her to pretty much just, you know, be on the safe side and, um, yeah, so that's that, <laughs> but he brought this over when she was sick, so I could compare his with mine, and it was like a one degree difference, so it's always good to have two different types of thermometers in your household so you can compare the two. All right, so this is the Wand Digital Forehead Thermometer. I believe he ordered this on Amazon. I will try to find this and link it down in the description below. It is brand new. He just brought this to me, but I did try his when my daughter was sick, and I do like it. All right, so that's that. You know, that's a good prep item. Think of thermometers, not just one, but a backup, and then maybe a backup for your backup. And it's always good to have at least, at least two thermometers so you can compare the two, okay? All right, so from there, Walmart salad some little baby peppers. My daughter already got a hold of this <laughs> and half the bag is gone. She loves some peppers. I don't mind. She can eat as many as she wants. It's very, very healthy. Over here, I got some blueberries, some strawberries, some snacks, <laughs> some mini drumsticks. Um, the chicken, I got a big thing of chicken thighs. Let's see, this is $2.48 per pound. So I got that. I got some coconut milk. Y'all, this is something I never buy. But my daughter and I, we've been really big into those, um, the pink drink and the dragon drink at Starbucks. And y'all, that is so expensive. And we want it all the time. So I'm going to try to learn how to make our own at home. You know, I just Googled it and um, looked on Pinterest for some recipes. So we're going to give that a try. I don't know. There's so many different recipes to it that you find online. So we're just going to have to experiment and see what works. You know, I still have some more ingredients to buy for that. But y'all, the dragon drink is a purple drink at Starbucks and the pink drink, of course, it's pink, but they're both really, really good. Okay. Just if you never try that before, it's really good, but I'm not about to give Starbucks any more money. I'd rather make our own. <laughs> so that's what we're going to try to do. All right. Over here, I have, what is this, 2.25 pounds of lean ground beef. This probably will be for hamburger helper or towards the chili I want to make and freeze into pressure can. I haven't had this in a long time. Cocktail shrimp, so I've got this. Um, I love some shrimp, y'all. Over here, yes, a bag of junk. I know, trust me, I know, I'm very well aware. <laughs> okay, butter, got to have some butter and cooling. And then I got some ice cream. Uh, of course, my coffee flavored ice cream. And y'all, it has to be this brand. I've tried the great value. It just does not taste as good, okay? Um, some things you just, great value brand just cannot pull off. And this is one of them. <laughs> so I got the coffee ice cream. And then I have one of the vanilla bean. Okay, three of the, oh, it's kind of smashed, three of the Snickers ice cream. This is going to be for our little Walking Dead party we have every Sunday night, so I'm going to bring that towards my dad, and that's going to be like dessert after we have whatever we're going to have for dinner. I'm not even sure yet, <laughs> but um, one for me, one for my daughter, one for my dad. Uh, my daughter threw this in the basket. Don't even ask. I have no idea what this is. My mochi ice cream. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, some berry medley. I think for that drink I was talking about, I'm going to need these blackberries for it. I got a thing of Eggo waffles. Those are so good. I love me some waffles. I got two of these um, Meat Lovers Stouffer's lasagna just for an easy dinner one night. Um, I have a bag of shrimp. 
I do want to, y'all, I do make some really good chicken and um, sausage gumbo, but I'm not really well experienced in making seafood gumbo. So I have, I think I have a bag in the freezer already, and then I have some crawfish tails. I'm going to give it a try. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure I could do it. It's just, I'll just figure it out as I go along. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just see how it comes out. Another thing is shrimp ramen noodles. That is our favorite. A thing of the Kool-Aid jammers. Okay, before I get to the, I have a story about these dressings. I got, y'all going to want to hear this and see the picture I took in that store. Okay, so I'll get to that in a second. Back here, I have four of the roasted garlic Parmesan sauce by Ragu. I said in my last video, I do want to stock up on more Alfredo sauce. As you can see in my prepper pantry, I had a lot of regular, normal spaghetti tomato sauce but not a lot of Alfredo. And for that, I like to do shrimp and broccoli Alfredo. It's mm, so good. And this is like my favorite Alfredo sauce for that. And I add some more seasoning, just a little bit of seasoning. My daughter threw that straw, what is it? Strawberry water in the cart. I don't mind. Um, that, I don't know if that's going to be for my tea drink I was talking about. Um, it's some kind of like pink cranberry ocean spray stuff. Okay, let me tell y'all before I forget. Okay, so right here I got a Ken's Steakhouse Ranch and a Ken's Thousand Island. That's my favorite dressing. That's like, I believe it was like $2.50 each. Okay, if I can remember, I'm going to insert a picture after I tell y'all about this. I forgot the brand. I think it was, was it Kraft? I think it was Kraft. I could be wrong. But their dressing, y'all, I think it was like a 16 ounce. It was over seven dollars per bottle it was like seven it was seven dollars something cents i will insert a picture here if i can remember when i'm editing this i'm gonna insert a picture here y'all that is the highest price rise i have ever witnessed and seen i mean just like that like it seems like it happened overnight because okay but i just had it you know as a prepping channel, I want y'all to be aware of this. And I'm sure most of y'all are. Okay, so I also picked up some of this Tezo Ice Passion tea. Uh, I bought some of this. I've never had these before, so I'm going to try this. Um, some mango dragon fruit green tea and juice drink mix. We're going to try to make our own drinks because I'm tired of, you know, we don't buy it often, but when we do, it's like a uh, big hit in the pocket for like a small drink. I don't think so. Um, I bought some strawberry hibiscus herbal tea. My daughter threw this in a basket. Some chamomile and lavender tea. Um, McDonald's coffee. The Keurig cups. I go through a lot of these. Um, I know it's kind of pricey, but it still beats buying coffee every single day at McDonald's or Starbucks or PJ's Coffee or any kind of coffee house. All right, over here I have a sourdough bread. Oh, avocados because I want to make avocado toast with some of the um, everything bagel seasoning on top of it. Also, let's see, Pocky sticks. Um, I bought these. My daughter got me hooked on these too. The strawberry ones are the only ones we tried. So I bought a cookies and cream and two chocolate. I actually have more, but my daughter already took a couple of boxes. All right, so she had that. She threw this in the basket. Um, shrimp flavor, hot and spicy. A bag of chips. My little daughter, Roxanita Fernanda, she has her milk bones. And y'all, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. That's me, y'all. I'm clumsy. I did buy her the medium size, even though she's like a little 10-pound dog. She likes a bigger bone because she really thinks she has something, you know, a big, serious treat. And she walks around so proud with that thing sticking out of her mouth, looking like she has a big old cigar. So instead of like the tiny little bones, she can handle the big bones and she loves it. She walks around like, this is my big bone. What you gonna do about it? You know, that type of thing. So it's just, it's funny to watch her. So I get her the medium sized ones. Oh, y'all, my, mm, my throat, I'm losing my voice. Okay, over here I got some mini bags of popcorn. I love popcorn, um, but when I pop it, I just I want a small little amount. So the mini bags are great. Okay, so I had to bend down and pick all that up. She did open this right here. <clears throat> some Pokemon. Oh, what is this? I don't know, like gummies. I don't know, whatever that is. So she already hit that up. I dumped it all on the floor. Also, my boxes. Every time I go to Walmart, like I 
I always tell y'all, <laughs> I take some boxes for my prepper pantry so I can organize it better. So I have more boxes right now. So more videos to come of prepper pantry organization. I do have a few videos already posted if you're interested in that type of thing. You know, it's just me in there, nothing special, just trying to organize my prepper pantry, y'all, okay? All right, so, oh, the Spanish grocery haul. Mm. Y'all, I talk so much on this phone with y'all. I'll lose my voice. Okay, so nothing too special. We got some drinks to try. <laughs> I think we had these drinks before a long time ago. Um, oh, we got two of the same one. Yeah, because I picked one out and she picked one out that's just like me. It is pineapple, coconut, nectar. I, I think they're okay. I think from what I can remember, they might be good. I don't know. All right, then I got some coffee. Okay, so this is some coffee from Honduras. Um, my daughter, I don't know if I ever said this before, but my daughter is half Honduran. Um, so this is Cafe El Indio. Yeah, I don't speak Spanish. This is some kind of like Mexican candy, I believe. Spicy candies. Um, she, she grabbed this to try. And she really was excited to see this because it said Japanese on it. So we got that. Spicy Japanese peanuts. She's been obsessed with, like, Japan lately <laughs> for I don't know what reason. Like, comics, comic books, or anime, or is it anime comic books? I don't even know what that stuff is, y'all. I don't even know. Um, and, you know, the country, you know, she watches YouTube videos, and she's like, oh, this, this is so different than here, and this and that, and all sorts of stuff. So, I don't know. But, anyways, that is my haul. Oh, and we had one big, huge green coconut I think that's what it was called a green coconut it wasn't one of those fuzzy hairy coconuts it was just green but she already you know when we got home she already cracked that sucker open and tried it I did not even try it myself um so I don't know how that tastes but that's our haul I hope you guys enjoyed it a few prepper pantry items you know for the prepper pantry but mostly just weekly groceries and you know just something new for us to try like that coffee and those candies and peanuts. All right, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Y'all, with so much craziness going on in this world, you know, the, you got the Russia and Ukraine war. That could, you know, that could lead into a World War Three. And, you know, even if you don't want to talk about that and think of the possibility of that scary stuff, because a lot of people get scared so easily over stuff like that. Um, this is not a channel to scare you. It's just the reality we live in, okay? <laughs> um... But even if you don't want to think about that, think of things that can happen anytime here in the United States, like weather incidents, hurricanes, tornadoes, flooding. All right, if, if you're not affected by that and that has never happened to you where you live, okay, well, what if it does happen close by and there's a lot of trees down and you're stuck at your home and you can't get to the grocery store because the roads are blocked with trees, fallen trees, and it's just hard for you to get out. Make sure you have enough groceries on hand that will last you at least, I mean, it's hard to say because everybody in every household is different. It depends on how many people you're feeding. Do y'all eat a lot? <laughs> I mean, do y'all eat like birds? Like, it's hard to say. But start off small, a few days, a week. Start off with a week and go from there, okay? Um, just slowly stock up because you never know what accidents or freak accidents can happen, you know, and leave where you are leave you where you are. You can, you know, lose your job. So much different things can happen, okay? I'm not trying to panic y'all or worry y'all. It's just, y'all, you got to face reality. This, These things can happen. All right, so this time I'm really signing off, y'all. All right, so take care.